likod daw easily consume share point share point objects via a client object model now since there is already a client object model available we could now play around with your desire to create a WPF or a Windows Presentation Foundation Grade Interface. Like making use of your, of your silver light. Like making use of your silver light. Like making use of jQueries. So all those presentation layer uh, technologies could now easily be used for your custom SharePoint component because of the client object model. Creating a, a silver light, like for example, creating a silver light web part is no longer a, a problem for SharePoint 2010. It is because of the client object model. Because of the client object model. So thirdly, when we say SharePoint 2010 for developers, we are dealing here of our capability for a flexible deployment of our SharePoint, of our custom SharePoint component. Obviously, when we say flexible deployment, we are dealing here of, like for example, of the WSP solution. What is this solution? Um, Pag napansin nyo kanina, when Alan has created a web part, Alan has simply right-click the solution and he he pressed the deploy. He pressed the deploy button. That the same deploy button creates a file and that file is called WSP file. WSP file. That the same file could now easily be installed or could now be easily deployed in our SharePoint site. So, simply get the file, go to the solutions library of your SharePoint file, upload that file, and you have now the custom component in your SharePoint, in your SharePoint, uh, in your SharePoint environment. Unlike before, you must be, you must be an administrator and you must be familiar of some command lines like the STS, ADM commands and you're going to start writing scripts simply to deploy the custom web part or that that uh, custom component but now but now we have already an upgraded an upgraded WSP solution for an easy and a flexible deployment okay last slide how about for us IT professionals what we could benefit when we say SharePoint 2010 so these are the three significant uh, items which I would like to share with you. Obviously, as an IT professional, so like for example, you are a SharePoint administrator and uh, you, want, uh, you want to administer your SharePoint site, number one, SharePoint 2010 is providing us productivity tools. We have the SharePoint admin, we have the SharePoint administrative tools, which is now uh, more organized uh, medyo madali mo nang hanapin yung mga bagay-bagay so it is well organized all the items are well categorized then um, another thing if you are going to click the health link of your of your SharePoint of your SharePoint admin it would give you an operational data like for example the the errors that are that are fired uh, in your SharePoint server and you could even set and you could even set an automated fixing of that the same of that error that your that your SharePoint uh, site has encountered so a lot of uh, IT productivity tools that are available in our SharePoint site and of course there is now a scripting environment so SharePoint is no is not only supporting the the, the the, the traditional STS ADM using the command prompt uh, SharePoint 2010 also supports also supports um, also supports the what do you call this one the 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 shell what do you call the product nakalimutan ko 
the, the power shell yeah uh, it is already supporting the power shell the power shell okay so what else so um, second to the last item so it has with SharePoint 2010 we have now a scalable a scalable unified infrastructure scalable because uh, with SharePoint 2010 we could easily scale out our farm we could simply add application servers we could simply move one services like for example the the search service we could easily move it to another server so the the, the implementation is more flexible it is more scalable compared to the pre, uh, to the previous releases of the product and uh, it has an improved data management uh, tool where we could set already like for example a sharepoint list we could set the throttling of that list uh, I could set like for example uh, that uh, from 1 p.m. to 12 midnight when you are going to browse a list it would only display the first 50 entries but you could also flexibly set a window that at this time like for example 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. since the traffic of your of your SharePoint farm is not so huge so you could you could say that uh, it would display 10,000 10,000 items something like that so you have a very flexible uh, uh, data management in your portal as an IT professional or as a SharePoint administrator then lastly guys the flexibility that we have as an IT professional to deploy our SharePoint site as I have mentioned we could deploy it on premise or we could deploy it uh, through a hosted environment obviously using SharePoint online or uh, yeah using SharePoint online last few slides these are only some success stories which I would like to underline I have presented this uh, 